Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And we have my guy, Blake Jamison, with us today. And he's coming to us from San Francisco, California. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep. He is an artist and um, really amazing work. And um, I'm so thankful that he took the time to interview with us today because he has a good story and very talented guy. So, again, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, course, talk. Man. Yeah, talk to us about your life. You know, where you're from, uh, how you grew up, you know, kind of up until now. Cool, man. Uh, so I grew up here in the Bay Area, born and raised, went to UC Davis. And after college, I studied economics in college. And after college, um, I went to basically into digital marketing. Um, worked for a company called Zynga in San Francisco. Had a lot of success there when they were very small. Uh, they ended up growing and, and becoming big. And worked with just a handful of companies doing digital marketing, mostly social media focused. So I'd, I'd like run Facebook ads for companies uh, or like run their Twitter, do like community management. And I did that for eight years and, and I think I was pretty good at it. Um, I'm a pretty creative person and that helps in that industry. But ultimately I turned 30, uh, this was about three years ago, and just decided that I wasn't fulfilled doing the digital marketing thing and kind of building someone else's dream. And so I just decided to completely shake things up and just quit my corporate job and start painting full time. Painting was something that I'd done as a hobby up until then. It was just kind of a fun thing, but it was never anything that I'd considered like as a career. So it was a pretty big shift for me. Excuse me. And I just decided like, kind of like, you know, you only get one shot. And I felt like, you know, I turned 30 and was like, fuck, I, I should do, sorry, if I can't swear. <laughs> uh, it's just like, I should do something that I love to do, you know? And so I started painting and kind of used my digital marketing skills to promote my own work and have been very fortunate to have done pretty well out of the jump of as far as like selling work and having, you know, different patrons and just getting my work out there has been, been awesome. So three years later, still painting full time and loving it. There it is, man. So here we are. Yeah. You only live once, man. You might as well go exactly. get it. Huh? Exactly. That's yeah. it. So, so uh, <laughs> As far as your career, you said you did digital marketing, and now you're you're full time painter, mm -hmm. okay, full time yep. artist. Yep. Okay. What are three things that you've accomplished that you're proud of? Uh, good question. Okay, so I guess um, so I get I think the first one would be buying my first house. Uh, I did that probably five years ago, and. I don't know. I just like in college, I've always been entrepreneurial and I've always been kind of investing everything that I have. I always invest in myself. And in college, I got into some trouble with credit cards where I was building, trying to build my business and spent more money than I had. Mm -hmm. um, and so for a long time, I had challenged credit. And, and so buying a house seemed so out of reach uh, for me for so long. So I was able to kind of, uh, I guess, claw myself back up to like cool as far as credit goes uh, and buy my yeah. first house. And so that was really cool. So that was something that I'm super proud of. Um, the next thing I think would be kind of having the courage at 30 to quit my full time like corporate job. You know, I was I had like a VP title of company that was doing a billion dollars a year. Like I was I was comfortable, but I was not comfortable in, in terms of like what I was doing in fulfillment. So I think that like having the courage to just say, I quit with no real plan besides like, I want to paint pictures. Uh, that was tough. And well, it should have been tough. It was actually pretty easy, but I'm still really proud of, you know, the fact that I did that. And then I think, I guess the third thing would be, you know, this is me now three years later and the life of an artist is like a roller coaster. There's a lot of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And so there's definitely been times where, you know, if I have a slow month, it's, it's reassuring to know that I can go back into digital marketing. And there's been times where, you know, people close to me, friends or family have suggested like, Hey, why don't you just go back to this? Because, you know, you're struggling this month and you could do this and make good money. And I just haven't done that. Um, so I'm really proud of that too, that I've been able to last three years and, and no looking back. Yeah. You know, you mm -hmm. said, those are some good ones. You know, you said the F word, not the yeah, sorry about that, <laughs> but the fulfillment, yep. <laughs> not the other. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Said, I uh, use them both. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. said fulfillment, you know, and I think yep. that's, a, that's a really big thing. I think it's really cool when you can live a life where your job is not work, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, 
And like I can say, you know, just like you say with doing your art, I can say, well, what I do in teaching and coaching, like, you know, I've worked my whole life for this, you mm-hmm. know. And so, you know, there's long hours, but I love what I do. And so it's like, you know, it may be tedious for other people, but like, I love this, <laughs> you know, you know, same yeah. with, with what you're saying, you know, there's going to be yeah. highs and lows. But like at the end of the day, you know, I think you love this, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, 100 percent. Yeah, absolutely. What's your definition of success? Um, for me, it's not, it's like a moving target. I don't think it's like one, it's not like a destination. It's like, for me, success is making today a little bit better than yesterday. And it's just like the baby steps kind of of it. So it's cool because when that's like my definition, it's doesn't seem insurmountable to reach it. Like no matter where I'm at, However, today went, if I can make tomorrow a little bit better and I consider that a su- success, then it's like not a daunting task at all. It's just like it's just part of the day, you know? That's what I do. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I achieve success. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. What do you think it yeah. takes to achieve success? Uh, I think probably the most important thing would be like being really good at self-talk. Because I think that uh, there's always going to be other people saying good or bad or whatever, and that's just going to be part of life. But I think that if you're good at like telling yourself the story that you need to hear to like be better than yesterday, then I think that's really all you need. You know, I think I think if you're really good at self talk, then then you can find success. You know, if you share my definition for it at least. Man, you know, I totally agree with that. Like. You know, you said that I, my eyes were like, wow, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I, I, I believe in that. You know, I think, you know, the voice that that inner voice, you know, you like you said, you know, there's a lot of people that's not going to believe in your crazy dream, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but really don't. What, what 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 you know, the thing is, it don't matter what they think. <laughs> you yeah. know, what matters is what you think, you know, and so, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I think that goes both ways. Right. You're going to have haters that won't believe or see the vision. And then you're also going to have yes men that always say you're doing awesome and you're like, you're as good as you can be. And I just, I try not to let any of that worry about like affect what I'm doing, you know, cause sure. Like haters could bring me down, but just the same thing. Like, you know, people could be like, Oh my God, you're crushing it. And then if I was just complacent, then I wouldn't keep, you know, moving forward and making today better than yesterday. Yeah. So really you need, you need some, both of that in your life, huh? Mm-hmm. Would you say that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about, you know, you talked about the self-talk. Let's um mm-hmm. kind of kind of touch on that a little bit. You know, there's one thing that, that I do, I think I think the mindset and the self-talk, what you tell yourself is so important. And um, mm-hmm. you know, and this is a thing that I do every morning, you know, when I wake up, you know, I'm still laying in bed, turn my alarm off, you know, the first thing I do is say my prayers, and then the next thing I do, I say is today will be a great day. You know. And like, mm-hmm. it's amazing. Like, you know, it may seem weird to some people, you know, but like, like to me, like, it's amazing how that helps me with my mindset. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like, okay, well, I'm in control of making it be great. Yep. What, what are some of the things as far as self-talk that, you know, you say to yourself or things that you think? Uh, so I think that like one of the most important things as an artist for me is that every pro, like I keep taking on projects that that completely challenge me and that mm. I'm like, I'm back and forth in my own head of like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. No, I can do this. Oh, I don't know. It's a lot of work to do in a short time. Or, oh, it's a big project that I've never done something to the scope. So like, it's a lot of kind of like inner dialogue that's like debating of like, oh, I don't know if I could do this. Yeah, I could do it. I could do it. Um, but for me, that's cool because if, if I ever, if, you know, when I take on projects that are just like, kind of like my regular routine of stuff that I've already done. It's just like, okay, cool. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to paint these things and I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly how it's going to work out. You know, it's good in terms of like, I guess like security and feeling confident, but at the same time, then that that's when like art starts to feel like my old job, you know, digital marketing. Cause I'd show up every day and I'd have my things to be like, okay, I need to do X, Y, and Z, you know, kind of going through the motions. So for me, like the most, one of the most important things about self-talk is like ultimately staying positive, but being like, I don't know if critical is the right word, but just being like aware that like I'm continuously doing things that are like outside of what I've ever done before and challenging myself in that way. 
and so it's kind of this like back and forth in my own head um i think is important okay. so that's what well, i like well there it is artist yeah. blake jameson uh fulfillment mm-hmm. uh, success is a moving target mm. gotta have great self-talk well yep. thank you so much again for interviewing with us today of course man um, with the success chronicles i hope you enjoyed it and yeah. uh Thank you guys for watching this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Chip. All right.